All right, I'm going to start now with my dispatches 1.5 milligrams null track zone to 2 milligrams. I'm going to start with crushing four 50 milligram tablets and then adding some corn flour. So I'm going to use a mortar and pestle and a good quality paintbrush to get it into that. I'm going to add a couple of drops of color in it though. So I put some green coloring into the 20.8 uh, grams, 20.8 grams of corn flour and now I'm mixing the active ingredient with the corn flour nicely. I just did that wrong, shouldn't have it on the side, there you go, luckily. Alright, I'm going to mix that and then I'm going to put it in here and mix, mix it all together. Okay, so I've put the active ingredient and the corn flour, which is a diluent, into this mason jar, and I'm, I'm mixing it around, and then that'll be ready to put into capsules. Okay, so I've got my bottom, um, of the size three bottom capsules, the bottoms of the capsules. I've got the the plate on to mount it. I'm going to throw in a hundred bottoms in here and then make sure they're the right way. Okay, so they're all right. See, it's a hundred bottoms there ready to go. So now I'm going to put this plate on, which is for filling up material in there. And I'm going to put the mixed material in there with this little spreader. All right. Then I'm going to tamp it down with this a few times, put more material in there, and then put the tops on. So that's the next stages. So I tamped it down once, and now I've got to put more of this stuff back in the holes, and I'll do that, I'll repeat that several times. So I've packed that in several times now and maybe one little more pack then I'll try and put the the tops on. See what I'm doing. Okay so under this is the capping plate you see there and then a guide right and I've tried to put the tops on and I need to get the excess off and then rearrange them so that they're fitting correctly um, you know like open out and I need to turn them around with um, another empty capsule which will get the bottom of one so yeah I'm going to do that now okay the capping plate has got all the caps the right, right way around I'm going to put the orange plate on there on here and then I'm going to put everything together to make tablets Now, push it all together evenly. Just realize that I need a flat surface. One fail. No, things failed, that's it. Okay, 
So I need a container. Oh, I need another container. Making sure the lids are on. So we had I had a few for Oh, that one's right. Container. I know what I did wrong. I'm using a bed instead of a very square surface to do this. So some of the tops didn't go on properly, but I suspect it's just because I didn't put it on a even surface when I closed them together because um, I'm on a bed. So I'm putting the, t I also am making sure that the tops are on correctly. So look, for the most part, I got them, but just a note to self and everybody. Um, Make sure you're on a hard surface when you put them together because they didn't align. Make sure also you check with your doctor before you do anything. This is quite complex compounding. Um, I have, of course, checked with my own doctor and he's fine with me doing this because it's not precise. You see that one wasn't on properly. Yeah, so... I'm going to then put these in salt to get the powder off and then I'll just put them in a bottle and for the most part they're fine um, because I don't actually have to be 100% accurate in the dosage um, it's okay to with low dose naltrexone seems to be okay to vary it up and down slightly so it's very, very precise dosage. It's around 1.5 to 2 milligrams per active ingredient per capsule. But look, I got most of these. Um, what I will probably do, there's a little bit of powder left over. I'll do some by hand, especially since, look, some of these are broken. It's called so it's kind of cracked. Try a different lid. Yeah, so oh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> it's a bit fiddly. That's it. 
There we go. Alright, so I'll leave it there. I'm going to continue with this one at a time. You know, it's worth it to me because to pay for a compounding pharmacist to do this was $125. So, okay, so I put some salt in there to get the powder off. And there we go. That's completed. Ta-da!